I spent the last 10 years on the search for the world's largest freshwater fish. But in the end, I learned that the search is about a lot more than finding the big one. It's the story of the health of our rivers and lakes. It's the story of people that depend on rivers and lakes for their livelihoods. And it's a story about how these big fish make our lives richer. And protecting them makes Earth a better place for all life, big and small. For example, the Tennessee River, which now is healthy enough to support populations of lake sturgeon. That wasn't the case in the past. So that's an indication to us that we're doing something right. We're keeping the river healthy enough to support these amazing fish. These giant fish, they're some of the most vulnerable fish in the river. So if we can keep these giant fish, sturgeon, uh, paddlefish, some of the amazing big fish that we have here in the United States, if our rivers are healthy enough for these big fish, it means that they're healthy enough for us too. We all depend on fresh water to survive. It's not just about these big fish, it's not just about us. We both benefit when we keep rivers healthy. In some ways, the river is the most vulnerable ecosystem. It's a sink for everything that's happening around it. So if we can take good care of the river, it's an indication that we're taking good care of the broader environment. In the past, our rivers and lakes weren't as healthy as they are today. I mean, there are cases of rivers catching fire, and we certainly don't want to go back to a period when our rivers and lakes were, were that unhealthy. We've made a lot of progress over the last 50 years or so to clean up rivers and lakes for us, for our drinking water, and for the life in those waterways. I've traveled all over the world and I've seen rivers in all different kinds of conditions. Uh, in some places, it, you can't even, you can't drink the water. There's no, there are no fish living in rivers and lakes that aren't well cared for. So we really need to keep in mind, uh, you know, sometimes life in the river, rivers, out of sight, out of mind, it's not something we think about all the time, but water is crucially important, not only for us, but also for aquatic life. Awesome.